Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here I'm in the bike room today, uh, dressing for the warmer weather as I get riding outside. <laughs> Anyhow, I was asked uh, by a friend who uh, who's never ridden outside in the colder weather. As you can tell, uh, my wife shared a nice cold with uh, me and I'm subject to staying inside and looking outside to see all that nice weather I could ride in still but um a little further ado we'll get into this uh how we dress for the warmer weather uh here without the snow on the ground it's still a little cool uh it's not like in the minus 10 15s uh here in Ontario Canada but uh it's uh it's reasonable if you're gonna go out for like at least an hour um and you're gonna ride and uh so, so first of all you want to look after your hands and your feet um i don't do anything special special but i wear a heavier glove these are uh like motorcycle gloves but they're they're heavier um there's nothing special about them but uh uh they're just a little bit heavier than uh my riding gloves that i use now um but you can slip your riding gloves up inside these or you can blue use the blue uh, uh knee pairing gloves that you can slide up inside for extra layering if you have poor cyclishing hands which i don't um but that being said, the, the temperature could change and you could be in a, a full whiteout blizzard in, here in Ontario. Um, always have to be prepared for that. Uh, for instance, wear a pack with uh, more clothes in it or uh, just go off a base layer. Uh, for instance, like uh, Under Armour makes a nice base layer that you can get. Uh, this one's got a full sleeve in it with the pants or inside the inside here they're full pants and uh they will keep you warm so with this and a bunch of your other stuff you'll be perfectly warm um layering is the best thing you can do but for a bigger guy like me i don't really layer much unless i'm unless it's really cold so uh i try and wear like a a beanie a little beanie uh sweat cap that you can use to keep your head warm if you're blessed with no hair like i am or you can go to a full toque a uh, full toque cap here uh it's a little thicker a little little better so and then you can go to a full a full piece with the cap and the and the the balaclava, I guess you could call it. If you're worried about your face getting cold, if you know, and this could be transitioned into a, a neck uh gaiter as well. But uh I do wear one of those all the time when it gets cool, which is this here. And this can go on my head and it's stretchy you know uh but normally it sits down here if the weather changes say it's raining i can cover up my face so uh, a neck gaiter was nice or a bluff we call them and then as far as pants go i don't wear anything special just a a nice uh a nice uh pant that you can uh put on over your gear like your uh your riding shorts that you wear um something like that will be sufficed and then uh for for jackets uh this is a tactical jacket which uh breathes uh it breathes out the armpits armpits because that's where we basically uh get too hot and can't breathe so this is one of my jackets i i pick on uh i picked it up from a um, uh, 
it was a uh, army surplus store or something and you can pick them up and it's a nice jacket it's got uh it's rainproof waterproof jackets um the hood comes off up up the top here uh i always get them a little bigger because i always know i'm going to put a sweater or anything uh for instance uh we could have a nice day in the afternoon and then by the afternoon in the morning it could be nice in the afternoon it should cool down or vice versa so i always like to pick on a hooded sweater uh a hoodie uh sweater um uh, because you know something that'll go over top of your helmet as well and keep some of your heat in if it does change or you could buy a full-on um this is my riding jacket for the fall and spring it has pockets like it on a jersey on a jersey here and so those pockets will carry all my all my gear as well so um i've added some zippers to uh for the armpits area as well it doesn't have a hood but that's what i say about the hoodie and you always get them a little bit bigger because you always know you're going to carry uh, other things inside so it's a pretty dedicated jacket i got it off amazon in the in the cycling department of amazon it's got a nice uh cuff on the bottom that ho holds still and it's and it's fairly warm it's double layered nothing special but i did want to look after myself and, and get a nice jacket dedicated jacket like this for fall and, and uh, spring riding um that's about it really unless you're gonna buy a you know a, a full-on kit from uh and you can do that through Amazon. I don't have any affiliate links uh, to them, but as as long as they're uh, a dry fit, dry um, sweaters and stuff that you can get, or or dry fit uh, t-shirts, long sleeve ones, uh, layered up, uh, they will be perfect. Um, you just got to keep in mind how maneuverability you want. You know, you want to be full on. Uh, be able to pedal you want to be able to react move so the more layers you put on less mobility you're going to have so if this excuse me I'm, i got a cold bad and so uh you know you put all your your cap on i always like to make sure it'll slide over my head and even get even get the the ears kind of protected up there as you can see and a helmet will fit over that perfectly can i grab a helmet let's see yeah if you're concerned you know make sure when you're you're first getting your helmet too keep in mind in ontario canada we have four seasons we have spring summer fall and winter so i mean we're subject to all the seasons here and uh you want to make sure that uh everything's gonna fit and it's all gonna be four seasoned uh where if you're planning to ride out in the winter so i mean a uh, little skull cap like that or the bigger caps uh this is like a beanie too and it fits on it'll fit right in the helmet as well so, unless the Grinch wasn't good to you and you didn't, uh, you didn't get much for Christmas that you wanted from your MTO. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, yeah. They all fit. They all tighten up. But, keep in mind where you're riding, uh, as you can see from my last video, it was all crunchy. It wasn't wet at all. So, um, the shoes I wore were my uh, my 510s, and my feet were perfectly fine until the end of the day, and then they're naturally you get cold because you get start slowing down. 
stuff like that. So you got to call it quit after two hours. But we had some super fun that day and we got to watch a time warp video of uh, my friend riding in front of me. Um, I kept that in the video. I didn't say that I edited it out, but I changed it and uh, made it cut funny for everybody. So there's my winter riding tips. Uh, layer up. Um, know your comfort level for sure. Uh, if it's going to be too bulky and too big, well, it's probably too uncomfortable. Um, get on your bike and your and wherever it is, and just feel how it is too. If you can move, if you, if you think you can pedal around, walk in it. I mean, we're not going full snowsuit and uh, and our big uh, winter boots. <clears throat> We're just riding our bike and we're picking the days that we can ride our bike. If it's sloshy and sh crappy outside, well, we're not gonna ride because that'll be just a big slug. We don't have snow bikes, we have traditional mountain bikes or I call the big fat tire bikes, the, the four inch tires. We call them the snow bikes because they uh, go over the snow fine, but I've never rode one, but there is a, a far better chance you're going to have a better time on one of those than a more traditional bike. But since we have no snow still, and the ground is nice and hard and crunchy, well, there's going to be no water. So that means that we can ride accordingly. But, you know, there's still going to be icy patches and, and, the, and the ground uh, frosting up on us is going to be, they're going to show some ice too. So we have to ride accordingly. Um, that's about it for me. That's what my tips are going to be for you today. Uh, like I said, don't let the Grinch uh, hold you back from riding. Uh, cause you know, he can be nasty to you as well, but, um, just dress accordingly. If you feel like you're going to be hot and sweaty all the time, well, you should, um, take some layers off. If you're a bigger guy like me, we tend to we tend to have a lot more heat than a, a person with uh, less body weight <laughs> um, than us. Uh, I don't have a problem with the weather. I, I just <clears throat> I stay daily warm, and I know my know your limits too. Because uh, if you're going to be out for an hour, a half an hour, just know that. You're in the, the colder climates and you, like I say, just dress for it. Be mindful of it. If your hands are cold right away, well then you have to layer up your hands. If your feet are cold, layer up your feet and your socks and do what you have to do to. But the whole point is to get out and ride our bikes in the winter. Uh, this year has been super special for me and, uh, you know, here it is January and we got no snow. We've had bits and pieces of it, but nothing, nothing I'd call home for. But uh, we've been super lucky here in Ontario. I don't know what it is or why it is, but I'm taking advantage of it. I'm getting, a, getting my bikes out to ride. I haven't been on my trainer much, but I've been hitting my weights. So, you know, uh, take what you can get. Get your shoulders strong, get on your kettlebell, uh, get your shoulder strength going because you need it for your bike. Get your arm strength for lifting your bike up when you have to. Uh, you know, do what you have to do to keep riding and having fun and, and riding your ride because it's your ride. Uh, don't ride somebody else's ride. Ride accordingly. Be safe out there, guys. That was that's my tips for winter riding and it just so happened my friend asked me about that he says i've never ridden in the winter so how do i ride for it well if he stays tuned to this he will definitely find out i'm not saying i'm the perfect candidate to show to tell you this but this is how i do it i'm a bigger guy i ride with uh, what it worked for me 
and uh, it may not work for you. May you have to have a, a battery heated vest or, or, or battery heated gloves or socks or whatever it is, but if it's in your realm and it works, well, there you go. So guys, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for subscribing. Any comments, I love them, okay? Um, keep subscribing. I will be here once a week giving you a, a rundown of uh, things that will work works for me and hopefully will work for you. And uh, we'll make it the best. So we just got to get through the winter and uh, get our get our riding uh, stuff out for the spring. And uh, hopefully it's a good one. So don't let the Grinch hold you back from riding. So <laughs> uh, I love all of you guys. Thanks again. So take care. I'm going to try and get better for this because uh, uh, the over overwhelming gift that my wife gave me to makes me this way is not going to hold me back for too long. So take care, guys. Bye now.